Hi, my name is Jim Newchurch, and I'm the project director for the Title III grant at Delgado Community College and oversee academic advising. If you're a general studies major, you'll want to watch this short video to learn more about your program of study and why it's important to see an academic advisor when you first start taking classes. So if you're ready, let's get started. One of the first questions I ask when students tell me their major is general studies is, why did you pick that major? I hear two answers a lot. One is, I really haven't decided on a major, so I just picked general studies on the admissions application. And the other is, I know what I want to study, but Delgado doesn't offer that major. If you're in the first group, I have some information that can help you. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. If you're in the second group, general studies might be the perfect major for you. General studies allows you, with the help of an advisor, to build the curriculum that best fits your needs. Let's look on the Delgado website for information on general studies. If we go to academics at the top of the page and click on academic divisions, we can find arts and humanities, which is a division that offers the general studies degree. If we look under concentrations, we can see focus areas, such as biology, chemistry, psychology, sociology, and many more. These are all areas in which Delgado doesn't offer standalone degrees. So we've created these concentrations to provide students more options. For example, let's say you're a potential student researching schools and you're interested in studying history. However, you check the college catalog and notice that we don't offer an associate's degree in history. Wait, don't rule Delgado out yet. Because it's one of the approved concentrations, you can major in general studies, still study history, and earn a degree. The general studies degree is just a different path to get you to your goal. Crisis averted. Why is advising so important for general studies students? The short answer is because you can't graduate in this major without first meeting with an advisor. To illustrate this point, let's look a little closer at the catalog program description and compare it to another major, business administration. If we look at the Associate of Science in Business Administration first, we can see exactly which courses you would have to take in order to graduate. The required courses in major, required related courses, general education requirements, and options for approved electives are all there for you to see. For comparison's sake, the Associate of General Studies is much more open and flexible. When we look under required courses in major, it says, 18 or 21 semester hours in an approved discipline slash subject area. The concentration must be in a subject area where an associate's degree is not offered. General studies students must seek the assistance of their advisor for this selection. It says something similar under required related courses as well. Contrary to popular belief, you can't just take a bunch of courses on your own and graduate with a degree in general studies you must seek out assistance from your advisor and they'll help you build the curriculum structure that you see in other degrees, like business administration. How will they help you do that? With a degree plan. Here's a sample general studies degree plan with a concentration in psychology. The top of the plan includes student demographic information and guidelines that must be met to graduate in general studies, which includes rules like having to complete 12 credit hours at the 200 level and the number of credit hours that must be completed at Delgado. Your advisor will go over these guidelines with you to make sure that you're aware of them. Next are the courses that will make up the psychology concentration, also known as required courses in major in the catalog. Also, the required related courses. Once complete, these courses will account for half of the 60 credit hours needed for graduation. The rest of the curriculum will be comprised of general education requirements. Classes in English, Composition, Math, Natural Sciences, Humanities, Social Sciences, and a free elective are found in this section. If you need more information regarding the courses on your degree plan, you should go to the Delgado website and access the most recent college catalog. On the left-hand side, near the bottom, you'll see a bullet that says Courses. Click on that and you can explore all courses offered for credit at Delgado. Once you and your advisor sign the degree plan, it's submitted to the registrar's office and it becomes your official curriculum. 
Your signature means that you understand all the requirements of the general studies degree and you agree to all the classes on the degree plan. To graduate, you must follow the plan exactly. If you deviate from it, you may be in for an unpleasant surprise when you think you're ready to graduate. Now, if you pick general studies as your program of study because you're undecided on a major, there's an office on campus that can help you with this. From the Delgado homepage, look under Student Services until you find Career Services. Look for the section that says Career Exploration. It's there that you can find links and instructions for using Career Cruising, an online software that allows you to explore your interests, skills, and preferences and how they match up with specific occupations and careers. Note, you will have to sign in with the generic Delgado username and password the first time so you can create your account. The username is DelgadoCC, all one word, and the password is City Park, all one word. So you've decided on a new major. Great! Now you have to let the college know your intentions. You do this by completing a change of major form. If you're a new student and haven't ever registered for classes at Delgado, you change your major through the admissions office. Go to Admissions and Aid on the Delgado homepage and click on Forms on the left-hand side. Click on Admissions and then click on the Change of Major on Admissions Application form. Follow the prompts from there. If you're a new student and you have already registered for classes or if you're a continuing student, your change of major has to go through the Registrar's Office. From the Delgado homepage, click on Student Services, and then click on Registrar's Office. The change of major request is at the bottom of the page. Click on it and simply follow the prompts. I hope you found this information useful. If you have any questions about the General Studies degree, contact one of the advisors listed here for your home campus. Have a great day!